bottom line is girls hate guys who try. You know, they hate guys who try. They hate guys who approach. Um, they they just they just absolutely hate hate them, hate them, and and, and that's why they, they reject you. Because they literally hate it. Yeah, they absolutely because because they what what it, um um when you approach a girl, it's like um they. Uh, it, it it reminds them that they're basically not doing what they should be doing because you gotta understand this. Girls have the ability to approach guys as well. They don't do it because you know women and just people in general anyway are just so bought into social norms. You know, like um, uh, you know, it's 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 probably it's probably seen as desperate if a girl approaches a guy. It's 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 like you know the way it is. Society, the way society is, is it's meant to be the, the guy who approaches the girl. It it would take a lot of confidence for a girl to do it. So you don't really see it ever happen. I mean, um so um um what was I saying? So so yeah, girl go go girls uh girls will reject you just just for approaching. I mean, it's the fact that... It, because, like I say, it, it triggers off all this stuff in their head when you approach a girl. Um, You know, it's like they see that you're being fearless, they see that you're being confident, you know, because you're approaching them. You know, you're not, you're not scared because, you know, you, you make the action to approach them. And in their head, what it tells them is, like, that they're thinking, oh, I'm a... I'm not, um, you know, and they, they, they realize they hate themselves, you know, because, because they, because they realize that they don't do this stuff, they don't approach, so they're going to reject you just because it makes them really fucking angry, like, deep down, they're not going to show it necessarily, but that, you know, deep down, it makes them, it really triggers them in such a way where that, it makes them really fucking angry, um, you know, they are approaching, um, you know, because like I said, it just reminds them that they don't do this stuff. You know, and 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 it makes per- it makes perfect sense. Um, to to why it, like technically, you know, uh, approaching a girl is like you you can get the end result of getting laid, but it it just doesn't happen. But I mean, it, it it's like um, but. You know, so so so, that, so, that, so that's why they reject you because you know it just makes them really angry deep down. You know, and you know subconsciously, you know they they they're realizing that they hate themselves because they realize they don't do this stuff. They're not fearless. They don't have the the bravery to. They don't have the balls to. You know, they don't have the balls to approach. You know, guys. Um. You know, a lot of the time, you know. Yeah, you, know, you know they'll call you desperate or they'll call you this and that, because it's a. I I used to watch this thing RST, uh, social real social dynamics, and it basically talked about like, um, they call it like a shit test. Like if a woman like insults you. If you approach them, it's called a shit test. Um, it's not a test, right? It's actually just a reflection of, um. You know how they feel about themselves. Um, it's this thing of like um, I've mentioned this in another recording, basically where it's like, um, if if uh, you know the it, people walk through life, right? They walk through life in such a way where they have this leave me alone attitude. They they've given up. You know, it's like um, because because they 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 buy into uh, social conditioning, like they they buy into all the bullshit and all the lies. Um, you know, because fundamentally they're just scared to do things that scare them. For example, if they had a thought in their head, like maybe I should approach someone in the streets, ask for a number, a girl in the streets, um, you know, but they don't do it. What happens, you know, uh, sometimes it's like, it can, it can kind of get too much. Like you can do that for so long sometimes, but sometimes it's like, at a certain point, it's like, 
um, it's just something like uh, clicks in your head where it's like, dude, you're not doing this at all. You know, you're never ever approaching a girl. You're just walking through life with this leave me alone attitude. You're just fucking wasting your life away, not approaching these girls when they could fuck you. And uh, what happens is, you know, so that's an example of something that someone might, might be scared to do. You know, so pe- a lot everybody lives in fear, right? Um, and uh, what happens is they they hate themselves. You know, um, people hate themselves, right? Whether they realize it or not, I mean, it, it, it's just a thing of them. Um, you know, people are living a lie. They're not facing their fears. They're not approaching people in the streets, for example. And uh, what ends up happening is a. Uh, yeah, th- this is the causality for, you know, people to get angry, you know, people to become hateful, people to become pissed off, you know, um, you know, they, they walk around angry and pissed off because th- they're not facing their fears, right, if, you, if you're not approaching the girl and asking for a number, you're just a fucking loser, and your mind, your mind's gonna tell you that, your mind's gonna be like, you're a fucking loser, you know, and it's gonna piss you off. And and it's like you're not getting laid. It's, you get sex. You get you're getting sex. You're frustrated. It's gonna piss you off. Piss you off, you know. And uh, you know, fundamentally, people just hate themselves. And when when they see someone actually do it, it really fucking pisses them off. All right, it really fucking pisses them off, and it triggers them in such a way. Um, and yeah, so this thing called a shit test. It's it's not even a test. It's just the fact that this is just a reflection of you know, the fact that they just, how they feel about themselves, you know, this is just them, you know, showing that they hate themselves, basically, and they're trying to bring you down, because, you know, that's, that's, if if they, if they bring you down, it, it would make them feel good, so if they don't bring you down, I mean, that's just a sure way to make them really fucking angry, you know what I mean, <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, but you, you, you've got to be fearless. I mean, I, I've, I've had situations where people, you know, um, you know, pe- people have, you know, I mean, I, I, I approached a guy the other day, uh, he was, um, uh, on, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? <sighs> on a bank machine, and, uh, and I, I went up to him and I said, can I have your credit card details? I said, I said this is a joke. I said it, and then he got, he got really angry, and I said, it's just a joke. But even though I told him it was just a joke, he was still really angry, and he was going to try and beat me up. Um, you got to understand, like, confrontation, you know, like that, is a necessary thing. And this goes for, like, when you're approaching girls, too. They can very easily call you a weirdo or whatever, you know. They can very easily call you this and that, and uh, you know it's, um, but but it's up to you to be a man, and uh, you know I mean I, you know if if a woman calls me a weirdo I mean it's like, of course yeah, I I will try and um. You know do whatever I can do. I ask to help myself. You know, bully the bully, hate the hater. You know, um. But you know at the same time like you've got to be a man, right? In the sense of, uh, I mean, I'm not saying, not, you know, sticking up for yourself or hating the hair isn't being a man. What I'm saying is, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going to not approach a girl, you know, because I'm scared she might call me a weirdo. You know, it's, um, firstly, uh, what I realise is most people are pretty nice anyway. They don't, they don't say that. But um, if they did, it would be like, uh, you know, I, I've got it in my head basically where it's like, you know, you can't touch me. Do you know what I mean? It, it's like... Um, in the sense of, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a man, I'm not a fucking little boy, if someone calls me a fucking weirdo, I'm not gonna go home and cry about it, right, you need to grow some fucking balls, and that's what being a man is, you know, you need to be able to take people's fucking shit, because lots of people have got a lot of fucking baggage, a lot of people have, a lot of people walk around, you know, like I said, most people hate themselves, well, basically everybody hates themselves, so, you know, when you got all this, negativity from other people, you just gotta learn to fucking deal with it, that's what being a man is, you know, in this, in this world, that's what being a man is, you know, 
you got to take people's fucking bullshit. People are going to call you a weirdo. People are going to call you ugly. People are going to call you whatever, this and that. You know, people are going to try and fight you, you know? Welcome to the real world, all right? That's just how it is. Um, you know, and, and some people try and run away from that. Some people are just like, you know... I, I, I've met some people who just become really fucking weird, you know? It's like people are like spiritually... Like people are just like you know, go, going down the path of being spiritually enlightened or some shit. You know, just doing this, like, oh, you got to sit down and meditate. Don't say anything, don't think. And they say, like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You're sitting there, you're not thinking. I say, okay, so for what? For what was what, what's I going to accomplish? You're going to sit there and think. No, not think. What, what, does, what does that fucking accomplish? People are so fucking stupid. You know, it's just like, you shouldn't think. It's just like, why? Why shouldn't I think? What's wrong with thinking? What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like... I mean, the way God created the world, it's like, you know, he gave us this ability to think, and now you're fucking saying, there's something wrong with thinking? What the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. There's nothing wrong with thinking, you dumb fuck. Like, it, like people just really piss me off just how fucking un- dumb they are. You know, they do absolutely nothing with their life, and they've got to a place in their life where they think, like, sitting down, doing nothing, literally doing nothing, you know, um... Literally not thinking is like some like that's like some sort of accomplishment. It's like you're not doing anything. You're just saying that like there's no value to that. People are just like oh this makes you feel good. It's just like no it doesn't. You know no it fucking doesn't. It's just really fucking boring. And people are just like oh no you gotta fight the boredom. It it just shows how fucking confused people are. You know how lost they are that they get to a place where they think like sitting down doing nothing not thinking is some sort of accomplishment. Do something else with your fucking life. Go approach a fucking girl. You know what I mean? Um, just people. Just uh, That's just an example of somebody who's completely and utterly lost in life. You know, it just shows how much people don't care about themselves. And it, but it, it, just, it just shows how ignorant and dumb people are. And people do this stuff because, you know, fundamentally they're trying to run away from reality. I mean... You know, lots of people, you'll, you'll see, you know, kids in in the streets who are, like, you know, thinking they're hard or whatever. And, like, people are scared of them. You know, it's just, like, it's a fucking kid, right? It's a fucking kid. Or, or whatever. Some, sometimes it's adults, you know, trying to act like they're fucking hard or some shit. You know, you got to understand, most people don't do anything. You know, I've got beaten up in my life. But it's, like, firstly, it just, yeah, it sucks. But at the same time, it only lasts for a few seconds, you know what I mean? They beat you up and then they're gone and then it's like oh that hurt and then it's just like whatever who cares it's um but you know in in reality like you 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 know you're probably not gonna get beat up you know um and you shouldn't walk around your life just like fearing that you might get beat up and doing everything to stay away from that because that's just really insecure and like I said there's no value to it and it's like this thing where you you attract what you fear anyway so. You know, if you try to run away from that, it's like it's going to get you in the end anyway, you know. Uh, but there's just no value to it, is my point, you know. I'm just trying to make you not go down the road of just, you know, doing something really fucking stupid, like fucking just fearing these fucking people who think they're fucking hard. Because it doesn't, like, the, fearing these people doesn't make them st- automatically stop wanting to hit you. You know, you got to understand a lot of these people, you know, um, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of, if if they're if they're walking around with this you know that like being hard attitude you know what I mean why would they what do you think they're gonna have sympathy for somebody do you know what I mean like I've seen people it's just like they're just really fucking horrible they're like sadistic or whatever or they just you know they just they just become fucking bullies you know you get you get people who are just like you know um really nice people you know and it's like but but then you get like. Uh, th- these assholes who are trying to pick on these fucking nice people and they'll try and beat them up, you know. So, I mean, it, it doesn't make a difference if you're nice or not. Like, the person who is walking around hard and everything, like, looking for a fight, he doesn't give a fuck that you're sensitive. It's, it, you know, that that's not going to make a difference to, you know, whether he's going to hit you or not. I know it's nice to think that, oh, if I'm really nice, then I'm going to feel sorry for me and they're not going to hit me, but it, it, that's just not reality. That's not reality. People are fucking assholes. They don't give a fuck, you know. If they see that you're sensitive and nice, you know, it, you know, sometimes it triggers them to hit you because, you know, maybe it shows a side, um, maybe it's like showing them that they're not nice people 
and it pisses them off so it makes them want to hit you even more you know what I mean so you shouldn't you know spend your life just trying to run away from like people like that people who think they're hard people who you know um are looking for a fight because like I say it's it's um you know uh it, there, there's no value to the way you go about things I mean you know go out you probably won't get beat up anyway it's you know you can't just sit in your fucking room just because you're scared if you go out you're gonna get beat up you know that's just a really sad way to live your life and like I said there's no value to it and you know there's other things to fear that are actually you know more um scary which is actually stuff like um regretting that you never get laid you know never get laid you know and if you sit in your room all day how are you, how are you gonna get laid right um you know uh you know so you know it, it, it would scare me to stay in my house all the, all the time because it's like how the hell am i gonna get laid if i stay in my room all the time i need to go out you know that's more scary than get beat up. I don't. I don't. I don't fear getting beat up. I mean, I walk. I walk around through life, and it's just like, I do what I do. If people like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. I'm an asshole to people because I don't like people. Um, and uh, you know, like I say most people are all fucking talk. They won't do anything anyway. You know. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Bye.